What's up everybody, Mr. Sad here, and today we're at Sunnydale Arboretum, and we're looking for an invasive species. Let's go. Invasive species, invasive species, invasive species, invasive species. Well, today we don't have to look very hard at all because this invasive species is all over the park. But first, let's talk about what an invasive species is. An invasive species is something that's not from wherever you are and was brought there by somebody or something. They also are extremely negative for the environment, which means they can harm both the plants, the trees, and the wildlife in the area. And an invasive species could be something like a plant, an animal, or even an insect. And now that we know what an invasive species is, let's get to the topic we're talking about today. This species is creeping, this species is crawling, and this species is hairy. Ew, gross. Today we're talking about the gypsy moth caterpillar, and they are all over this park. They're here, they're there, they're here, they're there, they're everywhere. And not only are they all over this park, they're all over this community and different communities all across Ontario. And they are extremely hungry. They're very hungry caterpillars. Shout out Eric Carl, gone but not forgotten. Now, one of the reasons I decided to come to Sunnydale Park is because there are trees not only just on this side of the street, but all throughout the park that have been completely picked over by caterpillars and have hardly any leaves left. It's awful. And here's something that's also super weird. I'm walking through an area with a lot of trees and it almost sounds like it's raining right now, but it's not. It's actually just gypsy moth caterpillars falling from the trees and hitting the ground with a Ugh. Oh, hey, sorry to interrupt. If you could do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button real quick, I'd super duper appreciate it. The more subscribers I have, the more I'm able to do on YouTube, which is great for me and great for you too. Now back to those caterpillars. So where do these things come from? They actually lay their eggs, which look like kind of like a little puff usually at the base of trees. They're a big fan of oak trees and they hatch in the spring. Now, young caterpillars usually like to crunch and munch during the daytime, whereas older caterpillars are a bigger fan of eating at night. And they've got a very distinct look as well with these long hairs that come out of them, but actually have five pairs of blue dots along their back and six pairs of red dots after them. Now these caterpillars don't have webs, but they string along these silken-like threads and they actually drop down from trees and the wind blows them around, which is how they move from limb to limb to limb. Oh, and full-grown caterpillars can actually be one to one and a half inches long. And on their legs, they actually have these like hooks that allow them to climb up trees and climb onto leaves and hang out there while they're feasting on them. Oh, and all that mess on the sidewalk? Yep, that's their poop. Lots and lots of poop. And talk about sticking around a little too long, these caterpillars actually stick around for up to two months munching on trees. So what are we gonna do about these things to make sure that they don't eat our trees? Well, the best thing that you can do is actually wrap the base of your tree in either something that's sticky or slippery to prevent the caterpillars from climbing up. Some people use burlap, which is kind of like a woven fabric that the caterpillars get stuck within. Other people use super sticky tape that they wrap with the sticky side out so the caterpillars get stuck while they're trying to climb the trees. And some people use plastic wrap or tin foil, and the caterpillars end up slipping and sliding and can't get any higher than the trunk. So can you touch these things is a very good question asked by some very smart minds. And the answer is probably not. Their bodies are covered in these tiny, fine hairs that actually irritate human skin and can often cause it to have a reaction that can sometimes make it puff up and get real red and sometimes get a crazy rash. And I mean, they're also pretty gross looking and I don't know why you'd want to touch them. Now, the good thing is we don't have to deal with these caterpillars for too, too long. After a couple of months, they'll form what's called a pupa. And a pupa is kind of like a fancy word for a chrysalids, which is also a fancy word for a cocoon. That probably makes a lot more sense. And when they're done hanging out in their pupa, they emerge and are actually a pretty boring looking moth that are kind of grayish, tannish, brownish in color. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this episode of the Mr. Sad Show. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any caterpillars on me before I head home. Oh, and one more thing. Shout out to the people that just walked by and said, Hey, are you Mr. Sad? Yeah. You bet I am. We'll see you next time, everybody. Mr. Sad out.